Art Farm and Kenya is slowly warming up to cassava as an alternative crop to boost food production. Scientists at the Kenya Agriculture and Livestock Research Organization, CalRO, have made a breakthrough to boost its production using the gene silencing technology, which entails switching off genetic information of cells. Our very own Dennis Atieno has more on this week's Smart Farm. <laughs> The dry conditions in Mtopa, Kilifi County have provided the perfect weather for this cassava crop under investigation. Catherine Otanga, a cassava farmer from Busia, has seen it all. She's among the few farmers to visit this site where trials for the superior cassava varieties are ongoing. <laughs> Mabaya yake ni ya kwamba imekuwa na magonjwa. Na huo magonjwa imetoka kwa miche hadi miche. Imearibu mihogo. The challenges facing cassava farmers emanate from two diseases, the cassava mosaic disease and the cassava brown streak disease. The uh, cassava mosaic disease uh, affects the the leaves and the branches uh, resulting into reduced yield uh, unlike cassava mosaic disease that has been controlled using uh, natural resistance uh, cassava brown streak disease uh, does not have uh, natural resistance the combined effects of these two diseases are enormous farmers tend to lose close to 70 percent of their produce Scientists are now using gene silencing technology to tackle the diseases and improve on other characteristics. Gene silencing is a treatment technique that involves preventing a gene that causes diseases from expressing itself and therefore from affecting the cell. And eventually one of the technologies, what we call the, uh, the gene uh, silencing technology as a form of uh, genetic modification or improvement of cassava to prevent the disease, it worked very well. Of course it was under, for a period of time, science takes time, and um, with years, we were able to develop cassava that is resistant to cassava brown streak disease. And this is the first time that this cassava has been developed anywhere in the world. So because uh, it's our problem, it's us to solve the problem, and we are having a major breakthrough. Consequently, the technique which is closely linked to gene editing leads to inactivation of previously active individual genes. They don't have to introduce something from out, but they go into the gene, look at the various characteristics, decide which one to boost, which one to mute, which one to enhance, without anything from outside. And then that seed, when it's planted, when it's brought out there, it gives us the characteristics, the results that we want, whether it is yield, whether it is disease resistance, whatever it is, weed resistance, and so on and so forth. The recent move by the government to lift the ban imposed on genetically modified products has given researchers hope of conducting national performance trials. There is no difference in the nutritive value, even the anti-nutrients. It's exactly the same. It's only that this um, cassava is improved and has the protection against two very serious diseases. But patience will be a key virtue as farmers wait for the improved cassava variety developed under the virus-resistant cassava for Africa Plus project. We are just waiting for the license from NEMA. We're doing the national performance trials which will be carried out for two seasons. And after that, the variety committee and the variety select committee will then uh, uh, give it back and we'll be able to give it to farmers and to seed entrepreneurs. Kenya produces an estimated 900,000 metric tons of cassava every year against a demand of 1.5 million metric tons. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.